This is Couples Court with the Cutlers. This is the case of Banks versus Johnson. You're living together and are brand new parents. And the joy of parenting has been tarnished by cheating allegations. Mr. Banks, tell me why you are here. Well, Yon, I'm here today because I built my girl for Alyssa a little over a year now, and we have a two-week-old baby together, and I'm just and I'm just worried about her about her sleeping around with other guys and her baby daddy, and I'm out here working two jobs to provide for my baby, and I just and I'm just not sure the baby's mine anymore. Wow. Wow, wow, wow. That's a lot. Yeah, a lot going on. So, Miss Johnson, you're a new mommy. Tell me, I mean, it's enough to be trying to get a baby right, get them on a feeding schedule, sleeping schedule. What are you here for? What are you here to do? Well, I'm here to prove to Derek that I am not cheating. I have not been sleeping around since we got together. Yes, I do co-parent with my first son's father. Yes, we have exchanged sexual text messages in the past, but Whoa. nothing is going on between us. Um, the allegations are so far out of hand that Derek does not claim my child. Um, I just want to prove that I'm not doing anything, that I'm innocent, and we can decide what we're going to do with our relationship from there. Okay, wait a minute. But did you say to me that you exchanged sexual type uh, text messages with your ex? Yes, I have in the past. Uh Uh-huh. Do you think that didn't an issue? I mean, it was... It's an issue because it occurred, but it was on some tit for tat more than anything. So you did this to hurt him? Yes. Yeah. It's it's never a good choice. Because I'm sure the fact that you saw those messages makes you think she's cheating with him, right? Yes, ma'am. And it just fuels your flame that something's going on. Yes, ma'am. All right. So tell me some of the things that you've seen that make you think that Miss Johnson's cheating. Yes, ma'am. Her baby, her baby daddy, there was a time we got into an argument and she told me she needed time apart. And she told me during this time apart that she was going to be with a friend in a hotel and they were just going to be chilling. And she even FaceTimed me naked in the bed or whatever. So I'm thinking, I'm thinking everything was okay. And what the, kind of friend? A female friend. She said oh. she was going to be with a female friend in a hotel. Wait, be, let, me, let, me, let me slow you down just for a second because I'm processing this. It was okay for her to be naked in the bed with a female friend? And you were okay with that? Well, you know, females, I figure, you know, females feel comfortable sometimes taking their clothes off in front of each other, so I didn't, I didn't really think much of it. Okay. Yeah. All right. If you good, I'm better. All right. <laughs> the, ne- <laughs> the next day, you said she called you. Yeah, she called me and asked me to pick her up from a store with the car seat and the baby, and she was in pajamas, and I'm just wondering why if you, you with your friend, why would your friend drop you off at a store with your baby and a car seat that's, by the way, only five to ten minutes away from the house, but how so wherever she's stranded, I go, I go and pick her up. Wait, wait, wait. What did she say when you picked her up? She told me her, she told me her friend dropped her off, dropped her off at the store. In her pajamas? In her pajamas, and had the baby with, with the car, in the car seat and all. All right. And so then what happened? I pick her up from the store. We head on to the house. But as we get as we get to the house um, and we're pulling in the driveway and everything, I see we get in the house. I see messages come through her phone from her baby daddy saying how he how she left things in his trunk. When are you when are you available to come back and get them? Okay. Or... Okay. All right. So so now you see all this. You started to put two and two together. Yes, sir. Okay, so what did you say to Miss Johnson after you saw those texts? I confronted her and I, I said, it's obviously you haven't been with your friends, so won't you go ahead and tell me where you really was and what really happened? She, she, so then. Hold on. What did you say? I told him that I was at my baby dad's house. Uh huh. Why'd you lie to him? Because we were already going through something. What in the uh, first hand made me even call my baby's father is I found out that he was talking to his ex about stuff that I disclaimed to him about what me and my baby's father was going through. But what's his name? Your baby's father. His name is Sakim. All right. And what were you talking to him about? So I told Derek. Um, I was telling him just things that me and Sakim had been through, and I come to find out that Derek was disclaiming these things with his ex girlfriend. She calls me saying that she just wants to uh, talk to me, get to know me. So within this, she actually goes and she's telling me all the things about my life that I didn't tell Derek. So uh, I call my baby dad and go to his house to just vent. But if y'all so, was just venting, why, why, why were you at your baby dad's house? You also admitted to me that y'all, you so-called took a bath and he came and got in the bath. Y'all was in the bath together. And, but, but the, the baby was in the tub and nothing happened. Okay, wait a minute, wait a minute, hold up. Before, 
Before yeah, we get to that, to that yeah, you're saying that your response to Mr. Banks telling his ex about your relationship with Mr. Sakeen... It wasn't it, necessarily the relationship. It was just things that we're going through on a personal level, court-wise. He was disclaiming all of those things with her. And that hurt you? Yes. It hurt you deeply. Where does the naked FaceTime come in? Well, I was in Sakim's guest room, actually, and me and my son were in the bed going to sleep. I always sleep naked. This is something Derek knows. I sleep with no shirt or nothing on. So it's something that he's known, and we were in the bed going to sleep at the time. So that's why I was naked in the video chat. But you were in a separate room. Yes, I was upstairs in the guest room. Uh, 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 away from some Mr. Sakim. Yes, and his room is downstairs. And you're saying nothing happened while you were there? No, nothing occurred. When I go to Sakim's house, because I love his bathtub, I always take a bath there. So me and the baby were in the tub. And while we're in the tub, he comes and asks, can he join to get in the tub? Me thinking nothing of it because it's nothing sexual for me. We've done it plenty of times before taking the bath together. I will allow him to get in the tub with me. You said you've taken many baths with him before? Yes, like we, it's just something we do as a bonding thing. We all, plenty of times before, me, my son, and Sakim have all, to all bath three together. Of you. Yes. All three of them. Okay, but you're in a relationship with Mr. Banks. Why are you bonding, getting in a tub, or allowing somebody to get in a tub with you? I mean, I was just hurt at the t situation of what occurred for me to even be there, so I wanted Tim to hurt as well. Is that that tit-for-tat thing you were talking about? I, I feel compelled to ask you this. Do you have feelings for Mr. Sakim? Do you... I mean, you're bonding with him. Do you want to be with him? It's not necessarily that I want to be with him. It's just that I feel more comfortable speaking to him about certain things. You have to recognize an intimacy there if you're bathing with him. Are you sure you don't want to be with him? Yes. Mr. Banks? Yes, sir. Clearly, this is upsetting you, as, I mean, we all can imagine. What's going through your mind right now? Well, I'm just, I'm just, I just really want to know if she want to be with her baby daddy. It seems like she want, if that's what she wants, because I'm here trying to, trying to be a man to her and work at, and, and I love her and I'm trying to, trying to provide and be with her, but I just want to... I... Well, you know what, Mr. Banks? We do, too. There's your story, there's her story, and there's the ex-boyfriend story. He is here. Please bring him out, Mr. Ron. <laughs> <laughs> how y'all doing? Good afternoon, sir. How are you? I'm doing my best. All right. Would you state your name, please, for the court? I'm most Sakim Ray L. Bay. But you can call me Sakim. All right. Hey. Is it okay if I call you Mr. Sakim? Yeah, that's fine. Okay. Uh, Mr. Sakim, what is your relationship with Ms. Johnson? Um, uh, I want to clarify for the courts that that's the mother of my child, and I'm the father of her child, not no baby daddy and baby mama. We don't do that around here. I'm okay. grown. Okay. That's the mother of my child. Yeah. We're good. Mm -hmm. We're good. What? what we want to know, though, what happened the night that she spent the night at your house? <laughs> There's been testimony that at some point she was um, in a bathtub <laughs> with not only her son, but with you. Yeah. While she's in a relationship with Mr. Banks. Um, Pretty much, man, um, I'm cultural. I believe, like, you know, village baths. We took baths from villages in the ancient time. You understand? I ain't, I ain't on this modern day type buffoonery and all that. I ain't, I'm, I'm with ancient culture, you understand? So we're in the tub together as a bonding thing, and my son not only can see her and I together because I didn't grow up with my mother and father, she didn't grow up with her mother and father together, you understand? So Mr. He can S have a different outlook on life, you feel me? So, Mr. Sakeem, mm -hmm. let, me, let me just cut and to it the some, And it can serve some, some water, too. All right, so <laughs> you're, being, uh, you're being environmental, you're mm -hmm. being cultural. Yeah. The bottom line is, you're saying that there was no sexual activity nah. that took place. Nah. She stayed with you overnight. Yeah. She, you did not have sex with her nah. that night. Nah, she went upstairs in the guest room. All right. And then sexual the next... contact. Any nah. sexual contact. Nah. No hugging, no kissing, no fondling, no nothing. My son was in the tub. I ain't stupid. Okay. And I ain't right. subjecting my son to that type of thing, man. Come on with that. Okay. We, get, but we have to ask the question. I mean, I understand. Mm -hmm. I understand, but that's kind of, you know... All right. My son was there. My son was right there in the middle, man. I that's understand. Real. But here's the thing. We are here because of an issue of infidelity. Mm -hmm. All right. Okay. So we have to ask the questions, even though they may seem offensive. Yeah, my, I mean, I apologize, my apology about my talk. Okay. I did right. kind of take a look because I'm like, yo, my son right there, Cuff. Okay, no, no, no. But let's keep it real, though. Let's, yeah. let's keep it real. What is, what's, your, what's your relationship with her? I mean, 
Yo, that's my friend. Do you want her back? If she can change some things and I can change some things about myself, I mean, you know, I, I would give it a try, but I'm not saying so readily right now, like, yeah, I want her back, I want her back, like that. So the bottom line is, you want to leave this court with the fact that that night that she was at your house, mm -hmm. nothing sexual happened? Nah. All right. Okay. Man, no, I, I wasn't even in that space at the time. I don't all even right. think she was either. Is there any reason besides the fact that all of these things have gone on that you're suspicious about the baby's parentage? Is there any other reason that you might be wondering whether or not you're the father? Yes, Your Honor, because that has been times she has told me. I don't know if she said it out of anger or if she meant it, but I went to pick up the baby one time and she said, I don't know why you're picking up a baby that don't belongs to you. And there's a time, and there's a time she was laying, there's a time she was laying on the bed with the baby and she was talking to the baby saying, you want to go over your dad's house? And, and obviously she wasn't talking about me because I've, lately I've been living, I've been living, living there with her and... And there was also another time that she told me it was his baby. Mr. Sakim's baby? Yes, ma'am. She told you that it was his yes, baby? Yes, ma'am. She told me it's three times and the, ba my ba and the baby, my baby is only two weeks. All right. Ms. Johnson, that's, that's right for the jugular. Why would you say that if it weren't true? Well, what stained me to say it is because of the simple fact that he was comparing my daughter to my son, saying that she looks just like my son that me and Sakim share. And so I said, well, if you feel that way, then you're not the father then. If you're going to keep saying that she looks like him and saying that he's the father, then why are you trying to bond with a baby that's not yours? The tit for tat thing. Y'all some yeah. rough people. I mean, y'all, I mean, you don't look outside your own window. You, that is, that is, that's why y'all here, I guess. Before we get to the question about whether you're cheating on him, uh, he has some concerns about the paternity of the child because you raised those issues. And so we have performed a DNA test and we have those results right now. So, to determine who is the biological father of two-week-old Nevaeh Banks, Mr. Banks and Mr. Sakim submitted to paternity testing. DNA Diagnostics has prepared the results. And the results are as follows. Nevaeh's biological father is Mr. Banks. Thank you. So, the fact that we know that the baby belongs to you doesn't resolve all the issues. There still is the issue of infidelity. So to answer that question of whether Ms. Johnson has been cheating, this court has done a full and complete investigation. At this time, the court will call certified polygraph examiner Kendall Scholl to determine, is she cheating? <laughs> Mr. Scholl, how are you doing today? I'm doing great, Your Honor. How are you? Doing fine. It's good to see you, sir. Good to see you. You conducted a polygraph examination of Ms. Johnson, is that correct? I did, Your Honor. You asked Ms. Johnson, since being in a relationship with Mr. Banks, have you had physical sexual contact with anyone other than Mr. Banks? What was Ms. Johnson's response? She said no, Your Honor. What did the lie detector determine? The lie detector determined that she was being truthful, Your Honor. Mm -hmm. All right, the last question. You also asked Ms. Johnson, since being in a relationship with Mr. Banks, have you had sexual intercourse with your child's father, no. Mr. Sakeen? No. What was her response? She said no, Your Honor. What did the lie detector determine? The lie detector determined that she was being truthful, Your Honor. All day long. All day long. She a fool. She a clown. She is out of his league. However, oh, of what? She did reveal that she and Mr. Sakim did wash each other's backs in the tub. Oh, okay. She says that there was no sexual contact, and she does feel like it was wrong for them to have done this. Well, Miss Johnson, we have the truth yeah. that you have been faithful. Mm -hmm. What do you want to do? I don't know. Still confused between the two. Part of me wants a family because we just had a baby and just to prove to him that I'm not doing anything in hopes that we can decide where we go from there. 
And Mr. Banks, is this the woman you want to be with? With all due honesty and respect, I do love Alyssa. I do want. I do want to work it out with her, but I don't want to force myself upon someone that don't that don't really want to be with me and give me their all. You all have been together five years, on and off relationship. Yes. You've been back on for the last year. Yeah. Yes. And you recently, like two weeks ago, broke off your engagement. Is that correct? Yes, yes. Your Honor. Your Honor. Why did you break off the engagement? I broke off the engagement because I felt like he's been cheating and I just want the truth so I'll know if I have a new beginning or end. All right. All right. Mr. Carter, have you been cheating? No, since we've been back together, I haven't. I love her. I only want to be with her. She needs to ease up a little bit on me with the insecurities. And other than that, I love this woman. When you say insecurities, what does that look like for you? If I go play basketball with my nephew and my homies, she swear I'm out trying to go meet new girls. Mm. I just need her to start trusting me a little no, bit more. But every time my woman intuition kick in, it be the case. I find something. And if your woman's intuition is correct and you find out he's cheating, what does that mean for you? It means that it's the end. Like, I ha it has to stop. Because I can't... I know that I'm not going crazy. I'm being insecure about things. Like, he likes to look at girls with a big behind. So every time I, we, we, we together, I see him looking at a girl with a big behind, I automatically look, and I'm looking at him, trying to wander around. Like, I feel like I'm going crazy. Like, but I'm that's not the case, though, like, Your Honor. Yes, I'll see... It, like, okay, we'll He'll do a out. double take. You turn around and stare, you supposed to be driving. Yeah, took it to the <laughs> <laughs> No. So, Mr. Cart, do you like girls with big butts? Do I don't mind lie. looking at a girl who got a big butt. And you cannot lie. <laughs> no, I ain't gonna lie. <laughs> okay. <laughs> but it's a difference between looking and how she say I look. So, your, your M.O. is this. Just because I'm on a diet don't mean I can't look at the menu. Yeah. All right. How does it make you feel when he's doing that? It hurts. It really hurts because it's like I already... I, I want a body like that. And I'm buying things to fix it up. And I'm like, well, if I, fi if I fix my, my butt, well, maybe he'll look at me like that and stop looking at them. I tell her all the time, she don't need to do that. You beautiful. Don't do that. Like... So you make her feel beautiful? Yeah, I tell her all the time, like, hey, babe, you bad. I bite on her, kiss on her and stuff. But she'll <laughs> go buy some stuff just because, like... No, it's not just because. All right. Don't bite me, Mr. More so when he's in trouble. <laughs> I mean, clearly you had some happy times. Yes. Yeah. Talk to me about the beginning of um, this relationship. The beginning of our relationship, I had came home from work. It was a long day. And he had the kids clean up the whole house. The, it was... Um, they had did their homework. And it was rose petals going up the stairs. And it just made oh. me feel real good because it was spontaneous. I would have never expected that. And that's what made me fall in love with him. Okay, you hear that? Spontaneous. Rose petals up the... Write that down. Rose petals. <laughs> Petals up the stairs. <laughs> House <laughs> clean. <laughs> All right. We don't have any kids to do homework. Walk the dog. <laughs> All right. All right. So, what did you love about her? The fact that she, like, she was independent. She took care of business on her own. And it, you know what I'm saying? I was upset when I first met her and she told me somebody broke in her house because that's how I first yes. met her. And I yes. went over there, I walked over her house from my sister's house and stayed at her yeah, house he for like walk. a week to make sure she was safe. So, I mean, you got your knight in <laughs> shining armor. Yes. You got your queen. Why are we here? Because he started cheating. One day, he always say, he would always get on me about when I wash his clothes, I would never check his pants pocket. When I checked the pocket, I found the cigarette pack, and in the back of the cigarette pack, it was a condom. We don't use those, so what is this for? And he's telling me, oh, well, you were asleep last night, and it was my sister's. Okay, excuse me, Your Honor. Can I explain that's myself? That's a new one. I went to my sister's house, and I asked my sister for a cigarette. When I picked up the cigarette box, I only seen the two cigarettes in it. When I got home, she finds it. First thing she says, oh, you cheating. I said, well, wait a I minute. Mean... And I called my sister the same night and was like, sis, Ain't this yours? And she like, yeah. Oh, your sister just covering up for you. All right, okay. is this your sister next to you? Yeah, this is my older sister. All right, I have okay. Three Would you step up to the podium, please? Ms. Day? Yes. All right. I have to admit, the condom belonged to my sister is a new one. I haven't heard that one before. <laughs> so, can you shed some light on this incident? Yes, I had the condom, and I put it in the pack. So, he took the pack, and that's what happened. He called me later to verify for him. But every time he, I find out something, he always puts his sister in it. She so, you don't believe his sister? 
No. You don't think she's being truthful with no. the court? Miss Day? Yes, ma'am. It was your condom? Yes. And so, you wouldn't call her up and just lie to her for your brother, would you? No, I wouldn't. I have no reason to lie to Tawana. I... Why do you think she thinks your brother is cheating? She's insecure at the time because of what has happened in the past and she's not getting over it. So, she's gonna have it in the back of her mind continuously thinking that he's doing the same instead of seeing the change. That's what she needs to work on. Thank you so much, Miss Day. Miss Hill, Miss Day's testimony is poignant to me because she's saying if you thought he was such a hot mess, why did you take him back a year ago? Because I, I'm, I love him. Honestly, I really, really love him. And it hurt because it's like... This is my life. You know what I'm saying? Like, this is five years. Like, where do we go from here? Miss Hill, you yes, cannot did, move through the book of life if you keep revisiting the old chapters. Yeah. So, when you took him back, you were saying to him, in essence, this is a new day. So, why is it that you think he's cheating right now? Since we got back together, he always answers his phone, even when I'm around. So, this particular morning, it's about 7.35, 7.45 in the morning, a phone call come through. And he, I said, well, why you didn't answer it? And he said, oh, it's a bill collector. And I'm like, a Saturday morning, 7.35, a bill collector? Don't read to me. Well, he said, well, if you don't believe me, you can call it. Now, when he say that, normally, I don't call it. But something, women intuition again, said, it's no, real. you need to go ahead and check the search. And I checked the phone and found this number. It was out-of-town number. So, I text the girl. And she texted me back and said that she knew him. Okay. Okay. Mr. Carter? Yes. You know, who right. was this out-of-town person that was calling you? I go to a restaurant and, uh, I see the girl. First, she said I was handsome. I started laughing. So, I said she looked nice back. You feel what I'm saying? <laughs> it's the she... courteous thing to do. Yeah, no, it's that's... not. I was trying well, to be nice. No, uh, if somebody no, says yeah, nice right. today, you, you, you say thank you. You're supposed to say something. Yeah, no, like, but if thank it was you. me, if it was <laughs> me, <laughs> you don't say thank yeah, yeah, you. Too. <laughs> no, 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 <laughs> no. Yes. So, okay, so Mr. Cutler. Let me be very clear, because I don't want you to say I misunderstood you. <laughs> <laughs> a young lady walks up and said, Oh, you look nice. That's not what he said. He didn't say it like that. Okay. He just said he was handsome. That's what she yeah. said. All right. You're handsome, Mr. Cutler. Thank you. You look very nice today, too. No, no. <laughs> that's, I no. Think that's, that's the polite thing no. to do. No, that's the no. polite thing to do. Thank okay. you. So, and then go order your coffee. So then, me and the girl, we got to talking back and forth. She asked me if I had a woman. I told her, Yeah. Okay. She said, can no. I get your number to call you? Okay. So, why did you give her so your number? So, why did you give her your number if you got a woman? The reason why I gave her my number, Your Honor? Yeah. Because I, every day I got to go home, I know I'm going to argue with her regardless about a woman. So, why so you, you know? took the low road instead of the high road. You get tired of arguing about stuff when you ain't doing stuff. So, I'm going to give you a reason to say something. It ain't like I asked for her number and Is called the girl. Is that the only conversation get... you had with this huh. woman? No. Yeah, yeah that's Hold the only it. time I seen her. I never seen that woman ever again after that. You know, Mr. Cutler, there are two sides to every story. At least two. Okay. There's a man... And in this case, it's a man's side and a woman's side. All right. I think we need to hear the woman's side. Yeah. This court has tracked down the other woman. And she is here. Okay. <laughs> Oh, chuckle, chuckle. I heard that. <laughs> and the question is, is it, is it the same story? My story ain't no time. Uh, would you please state your name for the court? Janine Douglas. Miss Douglas, uh, how do you know Henry Carter? Um, I was walking past a store called... It was a deli store. He ran up across me. He drove up on me. He told me I was a beautiful, nice-looking woman. He wanted to get to know me, and he would give me a ride to where I was going because I was carrying some bags. Okay, um, so he approached you first. Yes, sir. He gave me a ride to my family member's house, okay? He asked me, did I have a second to continue to talk with him? I said, sure. We continued to talk. I proceeded to ask him, did he have a woman or anything <laughs> of the nature? He said, no. So, you, te you testified that she approached you first. Yeah. Okay. But you heard a testimony that you she accosted lying. her, I he's, think, is the phrase you used. Excuse she me, lying. Your Honor. Excuse me, Your Honor. Yes. At the same time, he uh, starts uh, texting my phone 
I'll take it. Talking about three something in the morning, saying that he wanted to to let me know that he's been thinking about me and everything. And then later on, he texts right, me listen. again, saying that oh, I, he said uh, I would like to take you out. And are you free for a few hours? Mr. Carter, did you ever text Miss Douglas? I text her back after she texts me. Listen, I didn't even but, have her number to begin with. She got my number. I gave her my number. I didn't okay. text her. Did she say I called her at three o'clock in the morning? Are my you serious? You called me at three o'clock. I would get up and text somebody at three o'clock in the morning. So what time did you text her? I text her during the day when she texts me. Excuse me. Here's the issue. Why are you giving this lady, as nice as she may be, your number when you've got a girlfriend at home? You're right. I was wrong for that. I was. I told my okay. woman I was wrong for that. I apologize to her for that. She can tell you I apologize um, to her for yeah, that. I was but, wrong. Excuse me, Yana. I actually yeah. proceeded to send the texts to this lady. Yes. Okay. That he texted me. I, um... Didn't say anything to him, so he didn't know. So when he dropped me off at the laundromat, he called her and said, yeah, the reason why I didn't answer the phone is because I was busy or something like that. So she called me instantly afterwards and said he just contacted me. He said he was on his way to his sister house to let her know he don't know who this woman is that called her because she's, she's asking, who is this girl calling me asking about you? You said you didn't have nobody. So, he, so she gets on the three-way. And she calls me on the three-way, and I hear him say hello. And but then he hangs up because I'm like, so you don't live with me, so we're not uh, together, we're not engaged. No, 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 I'm talking to her. <laughs> so he, no. so you on a three-way, and she when you start talking, he he's like, oh no. That yes. wasn't me on the phone. She heard everything he said. I asked her to no. please put. Uh, okay. And then who was that on the phone? Talk. Who was impersonating you? No, I had my brother-in-law call it because I wanted to see who that was. <laughs> he is the most unlucky phone person I have ever seen. Listen, I have told her I don't... E Listen, I don't even deal with phones. Clearly. I don't even saw my phones. She buys phones and be like, why you don't ever want no phone? Because I don't want no phone. I don't need no phone. I know how to pull up where I want to go talk to people. Okay, but Mr. Carter, <clears throat> I mean, you got to admit how this looks. Yeah, I know how it look. You feel what I'm saying? But Do you listen... see how it smells, too? <laughs> uh, sure. This is your opportunity to uh, tell look. the truth. I and you, have, you, and, and you like... have not done that. Nah. Well, you ain't got to believe it. Like, what you mean? I told you what it is. Your sister doesn't look like she doesn't believe you. The witness doesn't believe you. I know she don't believe you. And just for the record, I don't believe you. All right. Well, that's what it is, then. Well, Ms. Douglas, let me ask you this. Yes, sir. From your text messages with Mr. Carter, did you get the impression that he wanted to have some kind of sexual contact oh, with I got you? The, I got the impression that he was trying to get me real hard. He was really being real... Excuse my language, but this is what they call it in the hood. Thirsty. Right. <laughs> okay? Oh, he was being real thirsty because you calling me at 345, 350 in the morning talking about you was thinking about me on the I first time you ever met here, me. There's no texts in your phone where I called you first and text you first. All right. Mr. Carter, were you texting at 345 in the morning? No. Yes. Were you thirsty? No. Yes. She sleep Were you hungry? How can, I, yes. how can I text somebody at 345 yes. in the morning and she right there next to me? If she me? sleep, she can't hear you texting. Right. She oh, hear me okay. when I move. Listen, if I get up to go to the bathroom, this woman will wake up. What you doing? Where you going? <laughs> like, what you mean if she can't... But she why? heard me? But okay, why? Okay, but you know, you do understand, based on all this, why she's like that. Listen. You have created this monster. I, I created this monster? Yes, you did. What about what she created, like? I, I'm not, that, that's not what we're here about. We're here about you. All right, well, listen, everybody make mistakes and either she, you know what I'm saying? Like, I'm apologize for it. She can't Is your position, Mr. Nowhere. Carter, still that you have not had any relationships outside of the one with Miss Hill in the last year, since you all have gotten back together? No. That's not your testimony. I haven't had no relations with nobody else. All right. Because we have these issues, the differences in the testimony, the court has ordered a polygraph test for Mr. Carter. And we have the results. <laughs> All right. Ron, would you please escort Mr. Coffey into the courtroom? Yes, Sean. You did a polygraph examination of Mr. Carter. That is correct, yes. And you asked him one question. You asked him, since March 2016 until the present time, have you had sexual contact with anyone other than your fiance? What was his response? As I asked the question, Mr. Carter made an admission. 
Mr. Carter admitted to having sex with another person twice, with the last time being about two months. <laughs> I am so sorry. <laughs> well, all this time you made me think I was imagining this. Darling, you deserve to be honored, to be loved. I don't know if Mr. Carter's that man. I want it to be the end, but I still love him. What can he do? Right he now. He has to mean it. He has to stop and mean it. Like, he... Got... And he got to show me that it's it. Mr. Carter, you heard what you said. Are you prepared to do that? Yes, Your no, Honor. Don't tell me. Listen, sweetheart, I know I got some stuff I need to work out. I used to not even talk to you about my feelings. Like, I, I talk to you now a little bit. I got to get better at it, and I apologize for hurting you. <laughs> 